Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to show you how to turn off the get pivot data function. So here we have a pivot table in Excel and oftentimes when you're trying to create a formula outside of the pivot table you'll do something like select cell C4, hit the equal sign, and then maybe you want to go base that formula on the data in the pivot table. You select cell B4 here in the pivot table and we get this weird looking get pivot data function uh, generated for us right here in the cell. And then of course, if we keep that and we just hit enter, we do get the number there, but if we try and copy this down or copy it across, we get the same number. The reference is not relative and we just get the same number. So this typically doesn't work for what we want it to do, which is to just create a reference to cell B4. So we can turn off this uh, get pivot data function. So I'm just going to delete that there. And to do that, we'll just select any cell inside the pivot table, go to the Analyze or Options tab. This says Options in Excel 2010 and earlier. And then right over here on the left side, we have this Options button. To the right of that, there's a tiny little drop down. I'll just click that. And right here, we have the Generate Get Pivot Data option. And this check mark means it's currently toggled on. We can just click this again to toggle it off. Now, when I click the drop down, we'll see it's now off. And then when we go over here to any cell in the worksheet that's outside the pivot table, I'll just click, uh, press the equal sign and select a cell inside the pivot table. And we now get a reference to that cell. We can see now we have a relative reference before. Of course, we could do some kind of formula here. Maybe we just want to add 10% to that, something like that, hit enter. And of course, we can copy this down just like any normal formula, copy it across, it's all relative, and it works just like a normal formula. Now, it's also important to note that this is an application level setting. And what I mean by that is once you turn it off, it will be off for all of the other workbooks you open on your computer, or even if you close Excel completely and reopen it, this setting will still be turned on or off. It'll just remember that setting for your computer. However, if you send this file to another coworker or another user, that setting will not change for them. They will have to go turn this on or off themselves. The setting does not travel with the workbook. It's set at the application level. And if your other users or coworkers have it turned on, that doesn't mean the existing formulas will change at all. These formulas we created will not change. The get pivot data function, this feature here, is just really a tool that helps us create these formulas. So it's really just turning that on. It's kind of a tool used in the background to create these get pivot data functions. And even though we often think this is kind of annoying and gets in our way when we're trying to create a quick formula, get pivot data can be an extremely useful and powerful feature when creating more customized reports around the data from a pivot table. We can almost think of it as a very advanced lookup formula specifically for pivot tables. And so I'll create another video in the future that explains that in more detail. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below. If you'd like to learn more about pivot tables, then join me for my upcoming training webinar on the five secrets to understanding pivot tables. If you've had a question about pivot tables come up on a job interview, or you've just tried to use them but don't fully understand how they work, then this webinar is for you. During the webinar, I'm going to explain how to get your data ready for pivot tables and how you can save a ton of time with creating interactive reports and dashboards. We will also take a look at a new data automation tool called Power Query. So it's going to be great and it's running at multiple days and times. So click the link in this video to get registered for the training. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.